I get a lot of people asking me how we were blessed to walk away from corporate America in our early 30s. Well, listen, I don't want to keep that a secret. I want to share it with the world. And so maybe you're listening to this podcast and you're trying to figure out how do I even get started on my journey of entrepreneurship and getting to a level of freedom? Well, text the word freedom to 737-777-9909. Enter your information in. And we look forward to sharing some information with you, a proven system with smart overhead, right? That you can do part-time spare time right from the comfort of your home and have amazing mentors, coaches, and a community of entrepreneurs who are willing to support you and help you on your journey to freedom. Welcome to Code Freedom. I'm your host, Eddie Bales. Have you ever felt stuck? Have you ever felt like there's got to be more to life than the reality that you see every day? Tune in weekly, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays as we crack the codes to freedom in every area of your life. Welcome to Code Freedom. This is your host, Eddie Bales, and this is episode 179, and I'm excited to share with you today what we're going to talk about is winning, because in order for us to be free, we need to win, and we need to win in life and win big, and we want to win in every area. We don't just want to win in one area, because to be honest, if you win in one area and losing in another, then we're losing altogether. We want to win in every area that we can, Uh, but I'm reading this book uh, by um, uh, Tim Grover, who was like the trainer for people like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant and uh, so many other high profile people that we all know. And, um, you know, he he has interesting philosophies uh, when it relates to just the whole hustle, just the whole making things happen, especially as it relates to greatness and uh, and winning. In fact, the title of the book is Winning the Unforgiving Race to Greatness. And so you know, I just want to share just a couple ideas that I got from the book um, that I thought were interesting. I thought I'd share it with you. I'd love to get what you guys think about it. Um, and so just a couple things is like like one point, and I'm, I'm just going to bounce around just from like little points that I jotted down that I thought were really good. Uh, but one point that he talked about in the book is he says, winning isn't heartless, but you will use your heart less. Winning isn't heartless, but you will use your heart less. And before you guys jump on me and say, wait, what do you mean you're going to use your heart less? Well, it, it's different than you might think. The point that he was making here is that your mind has to be stronger than your feelings. And man, that is a big one because, you know, I can just imagine there were times that Michael Jordan and Kobe uh, didn't want to go to the gym, didn't want to work out. But guess what? They were typically the first one in the gym and the last one out. And I'm sure they were like tired. I'm sure they had situations where maybe they might have gotten an argument with their spouse or, or or maybe something was going on. Maybe they just didn't feel good or they just had something going on in the family or whatever. But guess what? They had that, as Kobe would call it, mamba mentality, right? They had that, that, that instinct, that killer instinct where it's like, look, I got to put my feelings in a box and put that to the side because I have to I have to push myself because I want to win, right? Now, winning does not mean that you abandon your responsibilities and you abandon every other area of your life. But for a for a short period of time, you you may have to like put some things in a box, like put your feelings in a box is what I mean um because you can't allow your emotions to take over and stop you from taking the necessary action that is necessary for you to win. That's required for you to win. So I just think that uh, that that little piece right there is powerful. And I wanted to just make sure that I shared it with you. A um, couple other things that um, I thought was interesting is winning never lies is what he talked about. And he said it's, it's black and white. You know, it's it, it's true. I mean, it's it's like. You know, if uh, right now the NBA playoffs is ha- are happening, and um, I know in the first game against the Warriors and Memphis, um, they lost by one point. <laughs> right, uh, the, the Memphis lost by one point, and then the next game, uh, the Warriors lost by I think about five or six points. Right, so the the point is, it's it's a number, right? Like it's it's a number on the scale that 
you are happy with that you would call winning. It's a number of it's it's a number of it's a dollar amount of money that you would want to earn that can help pay all the debts off or allow you or, or allow you to start to be in a position where you can be free uh, because you're starting to earn that passive income. Like what's the dollar amount that you need to earn uh, in passive income greater than your expenses that would allow you to be financially free, right? Um, what about having passive income? We've talked about that. We need to talk about that more on this episode because that's the key is having a passive income greater than your expenses. But my, my point that I'm making here is winning is measurable, right? Um, winning will do all the talking for you when you look at the numbers. The, I always tell my team, the numbers are the numbers are the numbers. So, you know, let's not try to, you know, get faked out or or, or manipulate. The numbers are the numbers. So understand it and work it and let it work in your favor. So I thought that was really, really good. Um, here's another really powerful one. He said, winning is everything. And he was saying, life is a daily campaign against laziness and the urge to quit. Life is a daily campaign against laziness and the urge to quit. That means every single day you may potentially want to quit, but you have to fight that urge uh, you may potentially want to be lazy, right? You may potentially say, hey, I don't feel like working out. I don't feel like working my business. I don't feel like X, Y, Z, whatever it is, right? Um, but you got to fight that urge, fight the laziness off. It just reminds me of gardening. I'm not a gardener, but, um, you know, since I've been a homeowner, um, you don't want to be the person on the street that has all the weeds in the grass. So you want to make sure you keep the weeds out, right? Uh, so, you know, I, I, I have someone who does my, 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 uh, my grass for me, right? Uh, but, but my point is, if you don't tend to the weeds, the weeds will take over the grass. It, it just will. You'll have grass and you'll have weeds. So you have to tend to that. And if you decide to be lazy, then it wins, right? But if you decide not to be, now, of course, in my situation, I'm not doing it. I have someone else doing it. <laughs> but but you get what I'm saying is that like everything in life has to be tended to. And either you will be lazy or you'll quit or you'll actually take action and make sure that winning is possible that winning even has a chance, right? So it's a it's a very interesting book. I'm I'm really enjoying it. And I just want to just share a couple points that I'm got I'm getting from it. Uh this this isn't like a whole summary of the book, but um these are just a couple points that I thought were were really, really good. I love what MJ said, Michael Jordan. He said, I never lost a game. I simply ran out of time. That was his mindset is like if we get on the court, I am not losing. Right. And if it's the last few seconds, I want the ball. I, I love in the beginning of the book, it talked about how Kobe and Michael had an unshakable confidence in themselves. We talked about confidence on this podcast lots of different times. And confidence is key toward freedom because you have to have the confidence in yourself to go through the ups and downs, the hurdles, to fight the laziness and the I want to quit, to fight all the things you got to go through to be successful. See, if if everyone was going to be successful, then they would already be it. But the reality is most people don't become successful like they want to be. Most people don't win. There's usually only one winner right? In an endeavor, like you got two teams playing, only one is the winner, right? So there's one team that is going to outperform the other team, right? And, and so the thing about life, in my opinion, is that, um, of course, you're winning as long as you're on the journey, in my opinion. I think if you're on a journey by itself, you're winning. But let's take it a step further and actually let's go accomplish what we what we set out to accomplish. Right. Like I got goals that I've been staring at in the face for, for a long time, getting real close to another goal. And that goal will be done this month. But, man, it's just nice when you're working on a goal and then you hit it, you knock it out and then you set yourself apart from others because you are willing to do things that they wouldn't do. Matter of fact, I used to say this quote all the time, be willing to do the things that others don't so you can have tomorrow what others won't. 
be willing to do today what others don't so you can have tomorrow what others won't. I got that from one of my mentors. He had it on his voicemail years ago, and I just thought it was so cool. Uh, and I just held on to that quote because it, it resonated with me because it, it, it told me that I could separate myself from others if I'm willing to do things that others are not willing to do, right? And so I just think this whole thought process is genius, it's powerful. And if we want to win, we have to be different. And to be honest, we got to win in our mind first. We talked about that on the last episode about the mind. And uh, we want to carry that forward in everything that we do. So I hope you guys got some value from this episode. It's been a blast sharing with you all. And I can't wait to see you on the next episode. Take care. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you guys for listening. Um, Definitely feel free to take a screenshot of this episode. Tag me in it on Instagram uh, or Facebook or wherever you find me on social media. I would love to give you a shout out. Hey, you might even get a prize. Who knows? But uh, excited that you had a chance to take a listen. I hope you got a lot of value. And uh, definitely feel free to uh, give us five stars as well as a review. Uh, Show us some love and we appreciate you. God bless you all and see you all over the top.